This is Buzz. And these are our kids who don't even know that Buzz exists yet. Savage. The thing is, because we already had a rescue dog, two rescue cats and four kids and a busy business, we had no intentions in the slightest and added any more responsibilities, especially a puppy. Buzz, no. And then this happened. While visiting my sister, brother-in-law, and my nieces and nephews, we ended up here on this restaurant lined grassy area in the city of Alpharetta. Unfortunately, we don't have any videos of this because we weren't expecting this to be the catalyst of our adventures that we are on today. But there were two golden retrievers that our kids fell in love with, especially Addison. So while you can't see the dogs that sparked this movement, you can watch the kids beat up on their Uncle Keith instead. After Uncle Keith got his beat down by his nieces and nephews, we decided to leave. But all the girls kept talking about were these dogs. Golden Retriever this, Golden Retriever that. And then the kicker to it all, Kenna then tells me that owning a Golden Retriever has always been a dream of hers. And with that, I just knew that she was already warming me up to the idea of getting one. Sure enough, I was right. But there was a problem. We are a rescue family. We have fostered dozens of dogs and even more cats with an amazing organization called Good Karma down here in Southeast Florida. We didn't want to buy a dog, but no matter how hard we researched and looked, and after many phone calls, we realized that rescuing a Golden Retriever puppy just wasn't going to happen. The thing is, no matter what, we just kept seeing them everywhere. And the kids kept bringing them up, especially Addison. She would scream, she would yell every single time that she saw a Golden Retriever, especially a puppy. Ken and I decided to have a serious talk about at least researching getting a puppy. So that's what she did. And she went online, she researched breeders left and right, and she found one in North Georgia called Sierra Goldens. After just one look, I was totally sold. And here's the thing with these particular type of retrievers. They're not golden, they're more of a cream style. They're an English style golden retriever. So basically we were already sold. We were going to get a puppy, but we did have another problem. It's this guy, Opie. See, Opie was our rescue dog. We fostered him as a solo puppy with the intentions of adopting him out to his forever family one day. But we really liked him and he was really good with the kids at first. After we adopted him, his demeanor started to change and he basically only listens to me. After speaking with trainers and vets and doing some research online, we learned that the reason why he's like this is probably because he was separated from his litter mates way too early. We got him around three weeks old and by himself when you really shouldn't take a puppy away from its litter until about eight weeks. So he didn't have the time to properly develop the social skills needed to handle his stresses. We were told to give him up to the Humane Society or some other kind of rescue, but we knew that an aggressive dog wouldn't find a home and we didn't want to add more stresses to him, so we decided to keep him. With that, the kids do deserve a dog to play and cuddle with. So here we are today. Before we put the deposit down on Buzz, our new puppy, we decided that we want to make sure we can make this work. So we developed a plan and a schedule to make sure that Opie and Buzz were separated, yet still give ample time and attention to both. After we figured it out, we decided to go ahead and make our deposit, and then we just waited, waited, and waited until we got that golden email. Buzz was born, and in eight weeks time, we would get our puppy. We decided to keep it a secret and surprise the kids with a scavenger hunt. To see how that went, check out our next video. In the meantime, eight weeks passed and we started to head up to Georgia to meet our buzz.
And although we just grabbed a quick snack, we couldn't get over the opportunity to stop here. Yep, that is Disney World. And we decided to race on over to Disney Springs to grab some lunch. So up the escalator we went. And then back down the escalator on the other side, making us officially inside of Disney Springs with no kids. The thing is, we didn't know what we were gonna eat. I don't know. Where do we eat? I don't, I don't recall. Me either. And we ended up here. The place is called Homecoming. It's essentially a southern kitchen right in the heart of Disney Springs. It was absolutely delicious. And if you'd like to see their menu, well, here you go. Here is the QR code right here in the bottom right side of your screen. Go ahead and scan it with your phone and check out their menu. After we devoured our biscuits, the hush puppies, and the crazy delicious chicken sandwich, we decided to burn off the calories by walking through dis- Wait a minute. Is that a sprinkle sign? Rewind that. Yep, definitely a sprinkles. And it's an absolute must. When you see a sprinkles, you must grab a cupcake out of their cupcake ATM. Question is, so many options, which one are we going to choose? Okay. How about two of them? Enjoy these. Let's go. And with that, we were out of here. We had to get on the road and get to our hotel. But first, we had to spy on our kids with our ring doorbell. And look, there goes my cupcake. Oh well, I didn't need those extra calories anyhow. Womp womp. We entered Georgia, had a team meeting with these guys. And then we find out that Kenneth's mom doesn't know how to make rice. Leave it in the bag, and you put the bag in the boiling water for 10 minutes. And then you take the bag out and just drain it and then dump it in a bowl. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, 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 it's super easy. It's just boil in the bag. Two and a half hours to go, baby. Oh my gosh, it seems like an eternity. For you guys, you only watch 30 seconds. For us, it's been hours and hours. Stop at Bucky's. Do you need to? Maybe. I don't know where it is. Is it soon? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I guess you'll find out. Finally made it to our hotel in Athens, Georgia. Go dogs! <laughs> All right, we finally made it. How long was the trip in? Oh gosh, oh, 12, uh, 11 hours. We are old and exhausted, but we never get a chance to grab a dinner without a million kids. So we're gonna take advantage of it. Not sure we're gonna go. They give us this really cool list here, all these different restaurants. We're gonna go grab something to eat. Are you hungry? Yes, I am actually. All right, let's go. It's raining and he's trying to pay at the parking meter so we can grab dinner. <laughs> what a gentleman. And what did we choose? We chose South Kitchen and Bar. Really, really good choice. It was delicious. So what happened when you picked up Jackson? Oh, so like this place that we're going tomorrow, I'm not really sure what it is. They call it a cottage. So I don't know if people live there or it's just where you pick up dogs, I guess we shall see. But when we picked up 
Jackson, my parents' dog, many, many years ago. We like literally went into somebody's house in their living room. And just grabbed the dog and ran. And she brought the dog out and handed it to us. And that was it? And I, You didn't get to pick him out? Jackson, no. He was last pick, as oh. my dad always called him. The last, the last pick? Last pick. But he was... Well, it was a good dog. He was the best last pick, yeah. So you're excited for tomorrow? I am. Very this excited. time tomorrow we'll have a dog. We will. Another dog. And we'll be almost home. Oh, that's true. Yep. Not only was the conversation great, but look at this food. It was insanely good. You need to check this place out. And look to the left of Kenna. See that picture there? This building has been around for over a century that we're eating in. And that car on the right? Well, that's where I'm parked now, that white car, that Traverse. And I was just fascinating about the history. All right now it's called Georgian Hall, but it originally was Hotel Georgian, and it used to be the pride of Athens. And it was built in 1908, and I couldn't help think about all the people who were doing what we're doing, having drinks, dinner, laughing conversations in this very spot over the last century. The next morning, we woke up super early because we were excited to meet our buzz. Since we had a few hours to kill, we decided to take a little walking tour around Athens. It's a really cute town, by the way. I want to go back. As we were walking around town, we get a phone call that our kid went to school like this. Crew was giving Paka a hard time about his clothes, so Paka just sent him to school with his pajamas under his clothing. He must have lost his marbles, and I have a pretty good idea of when this occurred. After we handled that little fiasco, we headed here to Mama's Boy for some breakfast. So we're 34 minutes early to pick up our puppy. We're down the street. So what are we doing, babe? We're learning how to pick a puppy. I guess we should have done this before, but hey. <laughs> Let's learn how to find a puppy. We have first pick of the litter to choose our dog. So it's time to go and just check out the scenery as you drive up to the cottage. It is gorgeous. You don't see anything like this in Florida. We arrived and I don't think Kenna has ever moved so fast. Good. Hey, how are you? Can you get a real quick FaceTime? Okay. So exciting. I was totally excited too. And here they take things super seriously. Check out these smocks that you wear as you're selecting your puppy. In this cage here are super cute puppies that are Buzz's sisters, but we are getting a boy. So here they are. Let's see which one we're going to pick. How are y'all? How are you? Good. You're looking at boys. Boys. Right? Okay. Um, so this is Alex. Hey, Alex. This is going to be the first one. Hi. They're big puppies too. I was going to say they look so big. Hi. And I'm going to grab another one for you guys. Another one, that's how you choose. I, right? They're like potato chips. Hi, are you nervous, Alex? Are you nervous? Hey, buddy. Daddy, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Oh, there's another one. This is Aaron. He's just scared. Huh? This one's playing. You playful. Adam. 
Adam's a big boy, too. He's got more hair. He's got a thicker coat than this one. Oh my gosh. Hi, Erin. Hi, Erin. Adam's like Alex a little. think we picked? <laughs> I think it's gonna be this one. I think it's gonna be Aaron. I think it's gonna be Aaron. And if it wasn't Maybe obvious enough, it up. was Aaron or Buzz. Let's see if he stays this way all the way home. Calm. <laughs> yeah, right. It really was love at first pet. After we paid, we made it official. We're going home, baby. OMG. Hey, bud. You ready to go home? We didn't get too far, actually only about a mile up the road before we just had to get him out and play. We snapped on his custom buzz collar and leash to make it official official. We gave him a few sips of water and then he just had a blast in the field once he got used to it. He was doing great, we took his leash off. After we tired him out a little bit, we got on the road. But he didn't last in this cage too long. He ended up sleeping on my lap with me. We made one more stop in Georgia at, of course, Bucky's once again. Get her energy up. Buzz. Come here. Ah, my boy. I don't think he's too impressed with Florida yet. And then we stopped two more times in Florida before we headed home for the final time. First here at the Welcome Center when we first entered the state. And then here, our last stop at a service center on the Florida Turnpike. Baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right, we made it home, buddy. We made it home. It is 12 13 a.m. Let's get inside to his, his new home. Feed him. No, he doesn't need to. He just needs and to go, go to potty. bed. Apparently, apparently, he just needs to go to potty. Potty and says. play. Hello, potty buddy. and play. All right. And look who showed up while we were playing out front. Buzz made it. And there's Moo Moo. Not too sure what to make of this dog. What are you eating for, buddy? And after playing and going to the bathroom, we brought him inside for the first time. 
As you can see, he's not really sure what's going on as he cries every time I'm out of his sight. All right here, buddy. Hey, I'm right here. Buzz finally made it home. Hey, buzzers! Ooh, it is <laughs> it is past midnight, so in just a couple hours this morning, our kids are going to meet him for the first time, and you get to watch that on the next video. See you then.